Oh, what's that? You don't have an easy time picking a Splatfest team like this guy here or like me on Team Future? Does this imposing tower take away your power of choice? Do you feel afraid? Don't worry, because I've got 50 different ways that maybe you might consider when choosing a Splatfest team. You could pick Team Pass to give yourself more time to get better at the game. Are you really gonna tell me the blue flavor of ice cream probably isn't the best one here? Come on. Pick Team Future if maybe someday you want to be able to explore more of the plaza. They know it was here. Team Pass knows. There was Squid Beats here. Where did it go? Pick Team Present and uh, maybe someone will hear you say present and give you a gift. Yes. You know, maybe you want to be on Team Future for revenge. Because what is this? Why is he up here all alone? Bring, bring Big Man back down. What the heck? <laughs> Listen, man, the past is in the past. And that's a good thing, because uh, maybe people don't need to know about how many times I've pushed a couple of jellyfish out of bounds. That can stay in the past. But I won't forget. Maybe you like to cause problems. Maybe the next time someone asks you what time it is, you look them square in the eyes, and you tell them uh, it's the present. They don't talk to you after that for two weeks. Was that? You, you really like horoscopes? All right, come on, just get on Team Future already. <laughs> you know, if you take a really quick look at the Grand Festival poster for Team Pass, then like walk away, it almost looks like a, like a, like a giant kaiju, and that's kind of awesome. Maybe you want to stay in Team Present until you finally get those golden banners for this season. That's fair. You know what? Here's another one for Team Future that's just like a, a grudge. Why are these two together and then... Deep cut, they're just over here alone. What the heck? You know, joining Team Past means you're representing the two best Jolly Rancher flavors. Cherry and watermelon. If you really think about it, present almost rhymes with hesitant. And you don't want to hesitate. You want to be here now. You know, if you're supporting Team Future, you're supporting the best Jolly Rancher flavor, Apple. You know, if you're trying to write a social media post and you've got a limited number of characters in there, Team Past is like the perfect option. It's only four letters. Future, six letters? P present, seven letters? Ridiculous. You know, if you're joining Team Present, you're representing the best Jolly Rancher flavor. Blueberry, or sour, sour blueberry, something, something like that. Sour raspberry, and mo moving on. You know, if you're on Team Future, maybe you'll get to find out what they're finally gonna do with this back alley part of the Splatlands. It's been two years, but they can still do something back here. You never know. You know, maybe you missed that time before you got your favorite weapon to five stars. That's a real reason to join Team Past. What's that? You've got a weapon you're excited to play with, like, literally right now? Legit all the time? All right, all right. Get on, get on Team Present. Or maybe you're losing your mind because you have too many weapons that you want to play all the time? You're hoping that someday you'll figure out what your favorite weapon is? Maybe, maybe hop on over to Team Future. Maybe Future U's got it handled. I think this post is saying, past, weird, gear. And I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> Help. You know, maybe you want to stay in the present so you can experience all your birthdays. Like these funky little characters here that nobody knows about. All right, all right, just, just wait, wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. What if we think about two weeks in the, in the future when we can go to this map? Doesn't that make you excited for the future? Ooh, ooh, don't you want to go right now? Ooh, you want to you wanna go right now. You want to go right now. You want to go right Maybe the idea of Team Past is funny to you because you want to cause some kind of time paradox. Like telling yourself what the weapon kit was supposed to be for your favorite weapon, and then it and then it changes because you leak it out. You should pick Team Present because if you go too far in the past or the future, you might you might not get to see little buddy anymore. All right, all right. So this trick only will work until the Splatfest is starting. So you gotta act fast if you're on Team Future. You gotta go up to people who are on Team 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 Past and, and, and Team Present. And let them realize that if they're so focused on the on the past and on the present, that they won't even be able to think about Grand Festival. But this is why you gotta do it beforehand, because uh, you know, once you reach that weekend of the Splatfest, technically speaking, you'd be the one thinking ahead to when the Splatfest is over. So chop chop! You heard one too many people claim that past rhymes with last, and now you're feeling spiteful, and you want to prove it's not true. Maybe you just want to experience being the blurple that haunts us so much in Splatoon 3. 
one last time. Maybe you want to join Team Future so you can go to a future timeline where the developers make a game where you can go through this banner. <laughs> Why, why, why do I, why am I able to go like halfway through it? You gotta commit. Do you get goosebumps like every time you see Callie and Marie's trucks? Something that you've known about since uh, 2015? <laughs> don't, don't forget, Splatoon One's turning 10 years old in like less than a year from when this video comes out. <laughs> but, yeah, you should probably be on Team Past. Maybe you're on Team Present because there's a secret sign that's been pulling you towards them this whole time. I mean, look. There's always been a team present colored flag right here in this plaza. You ever think about that? You ever think about that? You ever think about that? <laughs> what? You thought? You thought that there was a sign for joining team present? Did you forget about the biggest sign possible to join team future? Come on! It's tall. It's green. It represents... I don't know, uh, coming coming back to Inkopolis t 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah, join Team Future. I gotta, I gotta like constantly flip my tentacles out of the way for this next one, but maybe people will feel inspired to join Team Past because Team Past is the color you can see the most easily on the bracelet when it's like facing forward towards you. Like there's so much more pink than everything else there. Although at the same time, look how much purple you can see for, for Team Present when you're just walking forward. And that is what you do in the present. You're just slowly marching ahead with time, right? You know what? Forget unfairness when it comes to the bracelets. Team Future, look at this. Three banners. Unlike these guys with two banners each. You know, maybe you're picking Team Future just because there's there's more, more representation. Yeah, 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 three. Splatoon three, yeah. Yeah, this isn't a reason part of the video. I'm just laughing because you've got this person here like perfectly positioned to cheer for Team Past with their idols right there. You go over like two steps to the left and... <laughs> Please don't do that to the Squid Sisters, man. You know, I'm starting to think maybe I should have joined Team Past so I could make silly references like this all the time. Okay, I, I want to show you something really quick when it comes to Team Past, all right? So, we're currently in Team Futures Plaza, right? This Splatoon 2 Plaza. There's a nice, even amount of posters going on here, left and right. Let's take a quick trip over to the train station and head back over to Inkapa's Plaza. And, and go to, like, the same spot, all right? We're going to walk ourselves forward here. And you're going to notice something that's a little bit different. Because, you know... Maybe being on Team Past means you have a little bit of an ego, and, and that's not a bad thing. Maybe you just love yourself a whole lot, because there's a lot more Team Past posters here than in the other plaza. Huh. Maybe you like the confidence, and that's why you're joining Team Past. The real reason why you're joining Team Present is because the blue ink color has been used in two different Splatoon games. Awesome. You know, here's, you know, tinfoil hat theory and all that jazz, but I think if you're an Ammo Knights fan, you should probably join Team Future. After all, the future of third kits is in Sheldon's hands. <laughs> you know, listen, I, I might be on Team Future, but I will admit that people on Team Past probably have a better fashion sense than I do. The red on black is just a really good look. You know, I've just come to the harrowing realization that technically speaking, the closest thing to table turf colors would be team present. Table turf players are like, really smart. Maybe we should convince a few of them to join team past or team future before it's too late. And anybody know anyone? When you go to Hotlantis in any place that isn't the Splatlands, you end up seeing this grainy old school TV effect. If it makes you really happy to see this, uh, you know, maybe you belong on Team Past. All right, Team Present, sorry, you gotta be out of this one. We've got the classic, is the glass half empty, half full conundrum. If the glass is half empty, that, that probably means you drank half of it in the past. If you think the glass is half full, maybe that means you have to finish filling it up, which you will in the future. Boom, uh, got it, I'm so good at this. You're welcome, two reasons, two birds, one stone. You know what, I think you should be on Team Present if you're running around counting how many posters each idol has in the plaza, because eventually these posters are, 
they're gonna be gone. You need maximum time to be maximum silly. Go, go. Stop, stop. Before you flip that coin or roll that dice to try and choose a Splatfest team, think about this. Whatever prediction you're about to see is coming to you from the future. Just join Team Future now. You know what? If you're not on Team Present, how are you truly going to appreciate quality memes like this? <laughs> not gonna lie, one of the best parts about being on Team Future is imagining a timeline where maybe you get to go to the future. You get the release date for like Splatoon 5. Like don't, don't even think about 4. Splatoon 5. And you bring it back and you make a video like this is when Splatoon 5 will come out and nobody believes you. Until, of course, June 27th of 2030 rolls around and everyone is shocked. How, 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 do you, how do you know that? How do you know that? And you just wink. Maybe you're on Team Past because you really love random old game lore. Like, remember the original Splatfest back in August of 2022? There was somebody in this porta potty. What, what happened to them? I bet you at least one person has picked Team Present because maybe they don't want to go to a timeline where they can't see plaza posts just like this. All right, all right, all right, hear me out. Here's the real reason people are picking Team Past. Look at this. They show off specifically both Team Past's color combinations here. Clearly a setup to make people want to join this team. They say, you know what? You know what? The pink and the purple and the pink and the green look really good. This is what I want to see in the Splatfest. I better go, I, I better go pick a team. All right, all right. It's time for me to try and convince this person to come with me to Team Future. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen, listen, listen. I know you've got the Marie drawing there. And I, I see it's your first drawing. Looks great. Already gave you a fresh. But, you know, if you join Team Future, maybe you could see where you are in 100 drawings. Ooh, Ooh what would your collection be like? What did past do you draw? Don't you want to know? Aren't you but a, a, a little, a little curious? A, a, even the smallest amount? Yeah, yeah, look me in the eyes. Let's go, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I saw this post, like say like Team Future, but on like a first glance, I thought it was Team Fruit, and I was like, mm, I, got, I got really hungry for a second. You know, maybe you belong on Team Future, if you just skip to the end of this video to find out how many reasons there really were here. But hey, no matter if you're picking the winning team or one of the other two teams, I hope that you enjoy the Splatfest. Thanks for hanging out and enjoying this silly video, just kind of meant to help people realize there's so many reasons why you might pick a Splatfest team, and some of them, might be just kind of goofy, might be kind of funny, and that's okay. Don't go making any deals to try and like turn the Splatfest a certain way, okay? Please, thanks. Future, I'm glad that that's over. <laughs> I'm sure that nobody has unsubscribed from that joke.